Uh, this morning, what I what I talked about was um, it was mostly to parents and families, and my um, overall message that I wanted them to know is that this is a time-consuming project, but it's not something that you need to know a lot about science, and you don't need a lot of money to do it. You just need to take the initiative and follow up when you read an, an article and you find interest in someone who's in the article, you can look them up and email them or give them a call. And um, I told them that I always finish my conversation or my email and ask if they have three people that they might think I should, con you know, could contact. And um, I shared some information about different social media platforms that they might already be using that they should think about somehow affiliating with the rare disease, getting a Facebook page and naming it after their mutation, um, connecting with different researchers and the speakers here at Global Genes on LinkedIn, just so they can see what they're posting and those people can see what you're posting. And I also encourage people to uh, physically go and meet their researchers and get to know them. And it's all about building relationships. And then I actually took them through a step um, of something that started here at Global Genes two years ago, which led to the building of our stem cells. So I hosted a roundtable session on uh, recruiting a scientific advisory board, which uh, we focused on, one, understanding the goals of the organization, and then two, identifying people who fit your goals and who have uh, a, a, common, uh, a common interest in the goals of your organization. Then we also talked about setting up a grass catcher list, as we like to see it as just think, you know, whatever you can think of from a science perspective, put it down on a list um, and then start talking about with your scientific advisory board. Uh, have them help you identify who might be able to do that, how much it might cost, whether it's a short-term or long-term program, um, and uh, to always keep uh, looking for new, innovative ways to uh, approach the science of your, of your condition because you're small and most of these were uh, new organizations with not a lot of money um, and we emphasize that you need to think outside of the box because uh, you're going to need a heck of a lot of money to, to solve this so uh, you need people who are willing to be visionary and think of new and different ways of doing things.